said, and this was, this was surprising, that that intellectual life that you're, this intellectual life that you're drawn to today was what you would imagine in some ways life would be like mm. inside a convent, but it was the opposite, the antithesis of Yes, we, we, we had, we, for the first three years, we weren't allowed to read anything at all. Um, and we did sewing, which was a disaster for me. I, um, one of the things that I'd thought was that I kept seeing the, you know, my mother, this was the night growing up in the 50s, women endlessly running around men, scrubbing, cooking and cleaning. And I thought, this, this, I, there must be more to life than this. So, <laughs> um, and of course, the, uh, all we did in the convent for the first three years was scrub, cook and clean. Um, <laughs> and so, my sewing was a catastrophe. Uh, a friend who was with me in the convent, she lives in Vancouver now, uh, she said she knew what, we, she could see me. And she said, we could see when you're sewing, because we spent all morning sewing, uh, you were suffering. <laughs> and, and then I would take it to the novice mistress to show what I'd done, and every day, without exception, she just ripped it apart. <laughs> uh, so there was this. Uh, and... Uh, it, it was a Victorian attitude, I think. The order was founded in the Victorian period, and women were not supposed to be... Um, I did very well in my first year examinations at Oxford, where the, the convent sent me, and they thought that was really rather vulgar. Um, you know, uh, showy. It showed I, my plebeian background that came from trade, which, uh, uh, <laughs> but, uh, so, no, it wasn't intellectual, um, and, but, but they, I, and I would, if I'd stayed, I, however, I would have been a school teacher in one of their schools, uh, but that, but no, no higher. Um, as I, yes, it, it, it was, but I wouldn't have missed it. I really wouldn't have missed it. I think youth is a hard time wherever you are. Uh, there's so much uncertainty and highs and lows and despair. And what would I have done in the 60s? I'd have been strumming a guitar and singing very badly, We Shall Overcome. I mean, <laughs> What's it, wrong it, with that? Yeah. Lots of people did that. They did, but it was a bit different. Um, so, uh, but no, I, 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 don't, I don't regret it. And I, I look back with a certain gratitude to it. I, as I say, I'm here tonight because one day I wrote a book about my time in the convent, mm -hmm. and it's led to this, and, and a, a world, something I couldn't imagine. I sometimes say this to young people, if I'm speaking to students, because life's tough out there, and they may not get what they want immediately, the kind of job they want. And I say, don't worry if you don't, because fate may be nudging you into a different direction, somewhere, something that you wouldn't have, have thought of doing otherwise.